Hey there everyone and welcome to part two. And yes, you did read that right, 85% success rate with voice commands. So in this video, I am gonna show you how to truly fix Crew Chief so that your voice commands respond and do what you're asking it to do. We're gonna make this video brief, give you as much information as I can, as briefly as I can, and we're gonna do that right now. So why aren't the crew chief voice commands working for you? Well, we all speak differently. We all have different inflections in our voice and crew chief wants you to be fairly clear. Now on top of this, crew chief has created sentences that it expects you to say to get the command that you want. Now, <laughs> I have gone through the help file and I have only found one reference to this file in the help file. Now what this file does is this file will unleash the power of the voice control of crew chief. And that file is located within the crew chief directory wherever you installed crew chief. Now I know there are a lot of people like me that, you know, instructional videos, you don't want to sit there and watch the whole video. I get it and I've made it easy for you. If you look down in the description for this video, you're going to find a link to Howler Racing Crew Chief Files .zip. If you download this file, it will give you the files. There is a readme included in the zip file that is basically going to give you all of the information that I'm going to give you in the video. The remainder of this video is basically explaining what each file does and giving you a little bit extra instruction on how to smooth things out and make your crew chief voice really, really work. Again, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified when I add new content or when I make any changes to one of these files. I look forward to any comments or criticism you may have with regards to this video. Maybe something I got wrong. Please don't hesitate to uh, send me a message and let me know what I need to fix or maybe what I got wrong. So if you're still here, um, let's go through the zip file that you just downloaded and let you know what's in it and what it's going to do. Now, if you haven't done so, be sure to go into the video description um, and copy the link from the video description, paste it into your browser to download the zip file. Now, once you open the zip file, you're going to have three files available to you. First one is pretty obvious, readme.txt. That is basically everything I'm gonna explain within the video, um, even some of the stuff I'm not, uh, as well as just changes that I've made and new commands that are now available to you. Now the next file you're gonna see is Howler Racing Base Road Spotter Enhancement. This is kind of a bonus file I've included, which is a profile you can load into Crew Chief uh, with all of the changes to the spotter that I've made to make it more responsive and have better information as to when I'm clear when somebody's beside me. Uh, it even lets me know if somebody's actually coming in on a dive bomb for me. So give it a try, let me know whether or not you like the spotter settings. Now this third file, is the file that is going to unleash your voice commands within Crew Chief, speech recognition config.txt. Again, this file is located in your Crew Chief directory wherever you installed Crew Chief. And we're just gonna open this file and then we'll start talking about what I found. So now we're gonna click and open the file and you're immediately presented with a whole bunch of comments, which is basically Crew Chief explaining to you what this file does. I'm not gonna go through it all. You can read it for yourself, but I will highlight a few points here. This is what caught my attention the moment I opened the file, is the first thing they tell you is create another speech recognition config text file. That tells me I can make modifications. So now if we jump down a little bit, you can see here, I am really surprised that this is not documented anywhere, which is one of the main things most people grab Crew Chief for is the voice commands. But you can see right here, static recognition phrases. 
these are recognized as is with no combing or phrases or sentences. And then if you look down, you can see how they've changed what's the air temp equals how ought is it in case it can't hear the H. Is it code? Nice out. Tell me the air temp or else. Or you can just have one. This just blew my mind that this is nowhere in the documentation because now I can make crew chief work for me based on how I talk and I don't have to go through Windows speech recognition or any install any third party software to get it to work. I just have to change what it hears me say. So I'm using the file that is included in the zip for this. So as you can see, I've commented within the file where I've made changes uh, to how Crew Chief hears me. And you can see the first one, calculate fuel for. It's calculate fuel for, how much fuel do I need? Uh, so much words. Um, if I'm in the middle of a race, I don't want to say all that. So I've made one that says fuel for. And then I can say 30 minutes, 20 laps. And Crew Chief responds to me if I've got enough laps in that it can calculate my fuel. Um, you, you know, scroll down, you look down a little bit more and keep quiet instead of, you know, yeah, shut up works, but I mean, I can tell them zip it. Um, and then I can say, you know, instead of keep me updated or informed, I just say, I need info. And you can see how I've just, I've gone through and in the file that you downloaded, you can, uh, just do a search, uh, for howler racing or just howler. And it will take you to every section where I've made modifications to try and smooth it out and get crew chief to listen to me better and respond when I want him to respond. So now let's just jump down really quick to what you're really here for, and that is pit stops. So as you can see here, I've pretty much streamlined my pit stops. I um, haven't really had any issues with them, um, but you can see, I mean, pit stop, fast repair, box, fast repair, pit stop, regular, box, repair. I just say, fix me, new car. It responds, it hears what I'm asking it to do, and it turns on my fast repair. Um, same thing, um, I, I don't need my repair, or say I'm coming in for a penalty and I wanna clear all of my pit stop options. Then now I can just say, serving a penalty, and it will clear everything in my pit stop so that I don't end up taking tires, I don't end up taking fuel. I do have to remember to turn that all back on after I've served my penalty and exited the pits. But because I now have a crew chief working with voice, I can do it with voice. I can say fuel to the end, you know, fill me up as much as I need for this race. Uh, whatever statement I want to put in there that I think the crew chief can hear me clearly and I don't have to say a lot. Maybe I may have to articulate just a little bit, but not much. And you could see in how in their example how they had code instead of, you know, cowed or however you want to pronounce it, instead of cold. It's all in the inflections that we all have that we just do on a regular basis. So the one thing I did is I have the ability for my microphone to play through my headphones. So do you through Windows options is I turned on my microphone so that I could hear myself and I would issue commands and see if maybe, oh, maybe he wasn't hearing the T. Maybe he wasn't hearing the H. And I would change that. So you will see some pretty obscure settings in here. But I mean, that's just me playing around, trying to find the best phrase that crew chief will respond. And if you take the time and you figure this out, you'll never take your hands off the wheel when you're in a race. Everything will be controlled by crew chief and you can focus on what you're doing. So that's going to do it for part two of how to configure your crew chief. I really hope this helps everybody and really helps you to utilize crew chief and really get the crew chief voice working for you. Before I close things out here, I'd like to take this opportunity to shout out to our sponsor, Blues Little Prince. You can check them out at www.blueslittleprince.ca. Little Prince for big memories. Don't forget to click on those subscribe and alert buttons and get notified when new videos become available. Until then, keep your hands on the wheel, your eyes on the track, let your crew chief do the work for you.